Hello, and this is another experiment I did with the NeoPixel light rings and a couple different new sensors. Um, basically, what I wanted to build was a miniature touch point um, that they have at Walt Disney World. And basically, you have this ring showing the lights going around and around. And when you come to visit the parks, you'll have to authenticate using a magic band. So what I wanted to do was build a little Arduino kit where you can touch your magic band and it'll do the same kind of lighting sequences and animations when you go to the parks. So I'm using two different sensors. You can see down here there's one, there's a second one right there. Um, here are the two different sensors. The first one is a TCS 34725 RGB sensor. Basically what this is, is it has a bright white LED that shines and the refracted light from whatever object you put next to it gets picked up by this infrared sensor and it can basically take a color and use that and the second sensor is a VCNL, VCNL 4010 Fox 70 sensor which also uses infrared so I combine these and what I will use these with is when the magic band gets too close to the proximity sensor the color sensor will turn on its LED, grab the color, and then turn the color of the ring that color. So we'll go ahead and upload that. I have a couple different sketches I'll show you. This first one has two different modes. Um, for these first two, I'll only be using the outside ring, the inner ring I was added later, but I don't feel like taking it apart right now to show you the first sketch, so just ignore that. So this first mode is the touch point mode and that is where the ring is constantly going around white. Um, basically what I'm doing, I'll show you the serial monitor, is every time the light gets about to the beginning, which is around here, this is pixel 23, um, this is pixel 0, so it goes in a 0, 2, and minus 1 of how many addressable LEDs are in the ring, um, and I'm taking the proximity from the proximity sensor, probably about once per second. So when this proximity is over a specific threshold, which you can set, and I set it here, and that's just through trial and error, um, then I turn on this LED of the RGB sensor, which you can do with a pin with the Arduino, then I take the color and then I do a little bit of animation like you're going to authenticate yourself at the parks and then turn the ring that color. So I'll go ahead and show you with a green magic band. We'll wait until it gets around. And it does its own animation. Flashes green, you're good to go in and then goes back for the next person ready to go. And you see down here that um, my proximity was a lot greater than that threshold. This is the color information that I got. And we just do a little message saying we're waiting, we're spinning, and then we authenticate it. So you're good to go. Um, I'll just go ahead and show a couple different magic bands. We're going to do red. And you show that this, um, this works with more than one of the magic bands. But it really doesn't matter what you do it with because this is not an RFID reader. It's just a proximity sensor and color sensor. I'm just showing that it can turn whatever color that the RGB sensor picks up. So we did green, red, and there's blue. So that's that. So now I'll go ahead and show you the second mode, which is the fast pass mode. And these are different touch points at the parks where they're not constantly spinning, they have different animations, and they basically just blink once when you're ready to go in. Like this. Spins once, turns the color that you're ready to go in. Normally at the parks they only turn green if you're good, or blue if they're not good. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm using the RGB color sensor, so I'm turning the color of whatever object I put into it. Let's do a blue one. And that's basically what that is. So we turn back to touch point.
Um, so this is what I'm doing. I'm setting up the different pins. Here's the two different uh, sensors I'm using. Um, this is the color sensor. This is just the NeoPixel strip. And here is the proximity sensor. I'm throwing out some output to the serial monitor so I can see what's going on. Here's some color table stuff up there for the NeoPixel ring. Basically, based on whatever mode it's in, I'll read the distance and then continue doing a white cycle unless it's over the threshold. And of course, then I will do a specific function. So right now I'm doing read RGB color. And let's look at that. This is where I am getting the raw data. I'm setting an interrupt and I'm basically turning on the LED for the RGB sensor, grabbing the color, doing some math, and then that color I am passing to my color ring uh, functions, depending on what mode it is. So if it's a touch point or a fast pass. Then I go back, here's my white circle, here's where I clear the ring to uh, do this kind of animation where it goes around instead of just one LED going every single time. Uh, I'm able to do a snake-like pattern. And here, most of this stuff is just different animations I've used to make the lights look pretty. Um, now I'll show you some of the fun ones. So let's go ahead and comment out that read RGB color. So now we're not going to be using the color of the object. Now we're just going to be doing some cool animations. This first one is rainbow ring, where we're just going to be going around with the different colors of the rainbow once we read it. object in front of it so you can easily see it. There we go. We're just spinning the different colors. Roy G Biv. Then the second function is rainbow fade, which we're quickly fading the entire ring different colors of the rainbow. And this last one is rainbow cycle, which we have all of the colors displayed at once and then doing kind of like a mix between rainbow ring and rainbow fade. And you can check out the code on GitHub to see how I do these. Um, I didn't write some of these. Some of these functions I got from the you know, pixel ring examples, um, but some of them I did write. And then the second function that I'll show you, or the second script that I'm going to show you is actually using both rings. This is after I added it, so some of the code is not fully functional for both, like the rainbow part. Um, but I do have it where I'm alternating on both sides. I just want to do something kind of cool. And if I put an object in front of it, it'll have both rings do the little rainbow function. So I thought that was really cool. Another thing to note is you can kind of see the differences between the LEDs inside the rings. That is because this inner ring is an RGB LED ring, whereas the outer ring is a RGBW uh, LED ring. So it kind of has a more, uh, has that little half circle of yellow you see on the outside. That's for a more controlled white. Um, this is the cool one. You can get three different ones, a warm, neutral, or cool RGBW LED ring. Um, they don't really make any difference. It just depends on what kind of white light that you want to get. I wasn't really too concerned, but you can still get some amazing colors out of any one that you use. Let's go ahead and show the little rainbows one more time. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.